Thank you. So actually, I think I want to bring uh, Jacob Joseph back out here and ask him a question. Oh. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I did Ooh. not X out of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that you're still here. Like, so we have a question for you today. Sure. Okay. What thing are you obsessed with this week? Ooh, obsessed with this yeah. week. Uh, is it, is, are we talking about like today's starting of the week or the previous week? Within, <laughs> within the past seven days, has there okay. been something that has really captured you? Mm. Oh, um, I got to pull up a Google just to be I'm trying to think. What have I done this week? <laughs> <laughs> uh, neuroscience. I've been teaching myself a lot of neuroscience mm-hmm. this week. Mm-hmm. So that we'll do that. Yeah. 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 That's one <laughs> job. There He's we gonna go. drop the word for coin collecting again. I forget what that is. <laughs> oh, uh, what is it? Pneumostatics? Pneumostatics. There you go. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I remember that from. Nucle- nucleus accumbens and our frontal cortices. So that's what I've been thinking about a lot this week. So. Y'all, y'all do this, this to yourselves. A, this y'all do this to yourselves. Long. No, we walked into it. Can you put it in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys citations in the chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, All right, see you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you just because it has something to do with brains. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, so I I I think I'm I may be loud, but I'm also the dumb one. And I don't know what a lot of those words were. Um do you guys like fill in what you think it means if you don't know what the word is? I would have to hear it one more time. <laughs> um play it to the top of your intelligence, Carly. That's what we do in improv all the time. Oh no, I always pretend like I know what's going on, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I do. The only so, word I picked up on was incumbent. And I feel like that's, I feel like that's the only word I can kind of pull from. One of the really, really cool things about the brain is when you don't know how you got from point A to point B, sometimes your brain makes up an answer. So it can incorporate a dream. It can incorporate, why am I teaching you guys this right now? I'm no, sorry. I'm, 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 I'm thoroughly no, interested. Hey, Please explain. Hey, um, we're it listening. can incorporate, yeah, like it can be hallucination, something you heard in the hallway, um, can be part of your life. So for example, I had a patient who um, had a brain tumor um, and she had it removed, but her, the, what she thought happened was that she was drunk and playing on a rocket and she injured her brain. Like a rocket. Like a rocket. Like a rocket. Like a spaceship like a rocket. rocket. Yes. So mm-hmm. she thought she was Buzz Aldrin or like. I. Strong, gosh. strong and then, arm. Yeah. And then it was weird. Like, so she was, she was a really tough patient. One time she thought we were on a cruise ship together and she was really mad that I went to get food without her. Um, mm. You didn't wake her up from her nap. This chick likes to go places. I like her. Yeah. Follow question. Was this a, um, did anybody like me or Brandon uh, work on the cruise that she was on? I mean, there's a good <laughs> chance of that. I mean, if, if she watched one of your shows, she might have incorporated okay, you that's right all. that. <laughs> um, I thought I'd just bring that all together. I, I feel like the opportunity was there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I deal a lot with a lot. It's called confabulations and it's very fun. Sometimes we get, I get in trouble when I come in and I don't know why I'm such a bad person. I like um, that word. A, another patient, another patient um, this week, he, he can't see. Um, and he told me that someone handed it, the doc, eye doctor handed him his eyeballs and he got really mad when I said, no, they're, they're in your, your, they're in your face. He said, I was cold. I feel like this show is going to be all over the place, and I'm excited for it. <laughs> yeah, this is. Have we had enough? Yeah. I think you're good. I think you're... Yeah. Carly's confused. You good? <laughs> oh, always yes. But again, okay. I'm going in strong. All right. all right. Let's do this. We're Scrapple, by the way. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, happy to see you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jackson. Um, how, how are you both? We're, we're hanging in there. We're, we're hanging in there. I just want to thank, thank you for taking the time to come to the school uh, to talk about your son. And, it's not um, my favorite thing to talk. I don't like this at all. Usually nope. well, bad news, but okay. Yeah. Well, I don't want to have an, uh, an, I don't want to build a negative atmosphere here, but I, I just do want to talk about um, what young Brian's uh, been doing in school. He's had stuff. We seem to be a very active imagination. And I just, I'm just trying to like get the handle. I just want to, you know, meet you two so I can like connect the dots and, you know, so I can, you know, get the best and the most out of him. What did he tell you? Um, I'm sorry. You're coming up very intense. But that's um, just but how that's, she that's, is. That's, that's, that's how okay. my wife is. Look, look, let her come off. Let her come off intense. That's how she is. She's it's, not hurting no, you. Let her be intense. No, it's, it, it's. What did right. he do? Okay. I just want to, all right. You know what? You're right. Let me just get right down to it. Um, well, he came here after he said he fell over the weekend, and but when he got to my class, the the Brian that's you know playful that I that I that I normally teach, um, thought he was a NASCAR driver, and then proceeded to sit at his desk and do circle do laps uh, around the room. He actually got uh, a couple of other students to uh, change the legs on the desk like they were like a, like a pit crew team. Did he win? Um, he yeah, win. I think he did. I think he did. I think he did. Oh, um, yeah. Stud that little guy up. I just, like I just wanna, dad. I just wonder what, what did you think happened over the weekend? Because he, he took the role very, very seriously. He had an M&M's jacket on with a bunch of like sponsors on. Like he took the role. He was very into it, which is remarkable but when i need to when i'm when i'm teaching history that's the first lesson when i teach history i need him to you know kind of settle down and you know like take in the information with the rest of the class like if this is jim it would be great the weekend cut to the weekend do you guys want to like Skateboard or rollerblade or something. Buddy, I'm I don't know. What do you want to do? What do you want to do, buddy? Yeah, you you haven't picked family night activities in a while, so it's your turn. I think I want to play around a hammerhead. How do you play that, honey? Oh, um, like the kids in the neighborhood do it. Um, we get a hammer and we bang each other in the head. That is why you're not allowed out. That is not well, that's why you don't you don't that's why we don't let you play with the other kids. Yeah. Um you, you know what? Let's play imaginary hammerhead. Look at me. I have a hammer. Oh, me too. Dad's bang, bang. Oh, bang. At bang. Concussions. Oh. Bang, bang, bang. Do I need to bang you? Here. I don't like that. Don't say that. Mom? Don't say that. Mom? No. yes look, look, look buddy i know i know this isn't the same as what the kids are playing out there but you can do anything you want by using your say it with me ima imagination with me. imagination Yay! we didn't say it together we didn't say it together it wasn't oh. a family thing say okay. it together and say it like you mean it this time three one. two one imagination. imagination that's my boy all right, Cuts you guys backs. want you guys want some tea? I'm gonna go make some green tea. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have a honey. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Honey. Brian. Honey. Buddy. 
sweetheart. Brian. Where? What? Bri Bri. That's intense. You're little, ba little baby boy Bri Bri. Talk to dad, dad. He's dying, isn't he? He's dying. My son dying. Well, his eyes are open and he's moving, so I think he's not dying. He's a zombie. My son's a zombie. I'm not a zombie. Okay. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I can okay. get back in. Get back in the race, guys. Is this is is this imaginative play or is this? I mean, that's the name of my car. Imagination. It's a home oh. screen. That's home scene. Yeah, one of his major sponsors was the Imaginarium. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why it went to race car. We're not a NASCAR family. I mean, I dabbled in I dabbled in dirt dirt track stuff when I was a kid, but I never brought it home. Yeah. I, I don't get it. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, he must have picked it up from somewhere. Well, okay, well, we can get past that. Is there anything else that has happened in the home that, that I should know about? Like, okay, you, you actually did mention Hammerhead, and I have a note here. Um, yes, uh, he actually came to class uh, a couple of weeks ago and thought he was part of the cast of Home Improvement. Cut what? to the cast of Home Improvement. Home Improvement. Hey, hey there, Wilson. Hello. <laughs> so, Wilson, there seems to be a boy running around here. He's not part of the cast, is he? Oh, 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 oh. I don't think I've seen that boy before, Tim. He looks uh -oh. new to me. Uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe we should ask him. Maybe we should check with him. Maybe he's my son or something. Maybe I got a new kid. Maybe I got Jill pregnant again. <laughs> Tim, have you been just cheating on Jill again and not talking about it to me? Well, I've been drinking a lot and doing a lot of cocaine, but I don't think I've cheated on Jill. <laughs> Tim, I just have to say, if you are cheating, you have to have that conversation with your wife. What conversation is that, Wilson? You have a grown-ass child that's not from her vagina. <laughs> Oh no! Looks like I looks like I'm gonna be in the doghouse again. <laughs> Dad, what did you do to the bathroom? What did you do? I put I put a race car engine on the toilet so we could have super powered flushes. <laughs> well, it's flooded. Get in here! Oh no! Oh, by the way, honey, I got a grown ass son that didn't come from your vagina. What? Back to sourcing. <laughs> hmm, that's that's actually that's actually fairly troubling to hear. Um, so is he seeing anybody else? Is he going to any therapies of, of any kind or have you seen the school counselor? Sorry, what's wrong with having an imagination? Well, Why? nothing. It, it seems it seems very active. Like Cut very to the imagination that about my group. son. Cut to the imagination support group. Well, thank you guys for joining us again for another session of imaginations. Are for. The active folks. Today we're learning to love the way our mind runs. And we have a new guest among us. Is everybody okay before we get started? I see some people rocking a little more fiercely than normal. Je Napoleon. I, I'm Napoleon. Okay. Just, okay. I'm just, I'm just I'm just waiting to, for the countdown to go to the moon. Okay. Okay. Kyle and John are, are really ready to go today, so no abnormal. 
uh, I'm, excuse me, Napoleon, Napoleon and John are, are, are Jean lacking. Napoleon. Jean Napoleon, excuse me, excuse me. Um, uh, okay, uh, well, we'll let you guys go last. We, I see we have a new person here with us today. Um, I don't want to misgender or name you uh, with, with the long, luscious locks. Would you like to tell us your name today? Uh, yeah, my name's Sean. Okay, Sean. And, you know, I lived a pretty normal life until, you know, one day I just, I just decided that I was in charge of my own destiny, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You are, yeah. Sean. Seems yeah. accurate. So what happened was I decided my destiny was to be NASCAR driver. Wow, Sean. Wow. Yeah. You know what? You get to create your own destiny. So <laughs> if you decide that's who you want to be, then guess what, Sean? What? That's that's who you are. Hey, so can can we can we hurry this up? I, I gotta get to the Kennedy Center. I, oh, I gotta no. I gotta I gotta lift off. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, we're not gonna hold you up. We just have 27 more minutes in today's session. Uh, so we're just going to go right around the circle. Sean, did you want to say uh, what your goals are today? Or do you just want to pass to the next person? Um, what? There's only one goal for NASCAR drivers. And it's What's be that? faster than other NASCAR drivers. Wow. 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 Yeah. Good for you, Sean. I love your ambition. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I've got to be faster than all the other NASCAR drivers. You know, like, uh, Tink Wilserson and... Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Joffrey nothing down. Oh yeah, yeah, he's the slow one. <laughs> I know that I got to be faster than Balls Aldrin and Gus oh. Grisham. Oh, okay. Then right. Balls you... Aldrin, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, Kai. I mean, uh, mm, mm. Jo Napoleon. Napoleon. Jo no, Napoleon. Back to Kai. I'm getting bored of being Napoleon. Can I be Patton oh. now? Oh, Patton. Patton. I like that. I like yeah. that. General Patton. Tell me more about Patton. Well, Tell he, us more. He, well, he, I, I just like playing war, you know, like being a general. Oh, all right. All right. All right. That seems a little intense. But like, if that's what you want to be, Patton, you make people uncomfortable. All right. No, <laughs> yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, Ooh. guys. Guys, I, I really got to lift off. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody back up, back up, back up, back up. This, this is the blast zone. All right. Okay, Biz, you want to introduce yourself to the group today? Sure. I'm a bride. Oh. I'm a blushing bride who just found out that her fiance slept with her maid of honor. <laughs> I'm very upset. I'm very upset. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can forgive him. <laughs> you can. It's your choice, Biz. It's your choice. You get to decide. You were at the wedding. Ugh. Just choose to choose love. I'm not supposed to encourage your imagination, but choose love, Biz. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to forgive him? If you, if you want. If you want happiness, I mean, I guess you can choose sadness too if that's your jam. Just, just make sure you feel your feelings for real. They're very felt right now. I see. I see. I think. I think you gotta, you know, put a break on this and do a quick change of your attitude. Hey guys, I'm back from space. Just parachuted back in. What? Welcome back. Welcome back. We salute you, sir. I'm glad you landed safely. Thank you, Patton. So did I did I hear correctly? Um, is the bride were you were you at the wedding when you found out, or were you at their wedding when you found I out? Right before I just put on my dress and my veil and I flipped the veil and then my my maid of honor came up to me and said, I'm sorry, I have to get something off my chest and I was like okay I'm a friend it's, this day's about me but okay I'll listen yeah yeah and she told me 
She slept with Larry. Back to home scene. Yeah, Bri- Brian's talked to a few people. Yeah. He's talked to a few people. Um, what is what his friends like? Does he have friends? Like he, he interacts with some people in the class, but I don't call them well, friends. Well, he hangs out with the neighbor boy. Yeah, the neighbor mm. kids. They like they like bear hammers. It's 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 the the kids really weird. The kids I don't. He's a nice boy. He's really weird. He re, he talks in rhymes. Um, it's it's weird. It's like it, he's like a he's like a, one of those artsy hammer kids. That so he's like like, like musical. Is he musical in a way? Not really. <laughs> not really. He just talks in rhymes. He's like the yeah. He's like the goddamn Riddler. Cut <laughs> to when Sean and the Riddler met. What's up? I'm Sean. Hello. My name is Joe. Back to source. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean the kid went on vacation with us and he just wouldn't stop talking in rhymes. It's amazing that he can get so many rhymes out. It, like, I, I can barely rhyme. He can even rhyme with orange, which no one should be able to do. We should cut. We should really talk about that and maybe cut to that scene. Sure, let's cut back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. What do you What do you want? Uh, so, you want a Pepsi to drink, and you want orange, Joe? Is that right? You want orange? Yes, please. Yeah, Dad, you heard his rhyme earlier. It was banging. I, you I know it was so Steve. banging. I want to see it. I want to hear it again. Yeah, let's hear Sean. it again. He's not a puppet. You can't just like make him like you know play the jingle and like the monkey dance. That's my friend, Dad. You can't do that. He already rhymed for you. Look, you look, paying punk. attention. Look, 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 I'm taking him to the Dixie Stampede here at Myrtle Beach. I'm paying for his turkey leg. He will make the rhyme again. I said, yes, please. You know my steeds. Please ask for extra ice and I'll keep it nice. But if they bring me something yellow, (laughs) I won't be mellow. Did you hear what I said? I'll hit this hammer on your head. Is everything okay? That's an out of focus hammer for you. There it is. There it is. All right. I'll get you an I'll get you something orange and an extra baked potato for putting up with your rhymes, buddy. That's right. He rhymed four times, Dad. Give him your potato, Sean. Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede. You don't get a potato. I appreciate you. You're my boy, Blue. That's that's his name name for me. Because it's easier to rhyme the word blue than it is to rhyme the word Sean. Oh, so you could rhyme with flu and a chew. Honey, stop helping him. He doesn't need us. Cut back Shoo. to the first thing. <laughs> I thought all those hey. teenagers were staring at us while we were at the Dixie Stampede. You know what? I, I think this is something that we should um, focus in on and actually use in class. Now, would it be possible to get him to sort of come in as in a historical character? Like do something over the weekend, like, um, I don't know, maybe he could get struck by lightning or something what? and like- You want my hmm? son to get hurt? You want my son I don't to, want get him to get I don't want him to get hurt. I just want him to come in to enhance the experience for the other children in the class as well as himself. Like, like maybe he could chop, lightning. or he could just chop down something like uh, I don't know a cherry tree to be one of our founding fa- be one of our founding fathers. Cut, or cut, cut to Rob working on a lesson plan with another teacher. All right, man. So here, so you teach history, right, dude? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Teach history. You need to bring history to life, my man. You need to bring yeah. it. Life. I don't. Uh, 
you can't just be up there saying things and doing stuff because it was like quite boring just like you know stats figures dates things of that nature that could be very tedious to the children what if we have during a lightning storm when you take one of your kids have them have i don't know big metal pipe have them go out get struck by lightning see i was thinking we go old school old key key kite during the lightning storm thunderstorm and do it that way to really bring everything to like you want to go straight benny f you want to go straight benny frank I, I think we should just go straight Ben Franklin. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the way to do it. We dress him up, you know, powdered wig, everything, the whole nine spats, and then we find it find a very high hill, one maybe one tree, find and then just like made of all metal. Find it, find. I mean, that shouldn't be hard to find. I find old keys all the time. I have one of those old keys that's literally like the two prongs and then like the hole. Like very old school, like like that's very that'll like really bring in the electricity during the storm. Really conductive. <laughs> Cut, to the, Cut to the actual lesson. All right, kids. I know you guys are going to get wet, but that's okay. Some of you have umbrellas. Some of you have ponchos. That's okay. I need you, Brian. I need you to just stand out there here. Take this kite. Uh, yeah, Biz. Um, um, my mom doesn't want my hair to get wet because I'll get catch a cold. It's fine. You know what? Here, I have an extra umbrella. Just here, take it. Just go ahead and take it. All right. My uh, mom doesn't want me to open umbrellas inside because I'll get bad luck. No, no. We're going to be outside. We're going to be outside. Okay. Uh, I know I volunteered to be Ben, but I I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. Can I? Can I? Can I step back? You said step no. up, step back, sir. You said no, no, step no. up, step back. You, no, no, John, you have the most important job of all. You're going to I, get I, electrocuted, okay? I, it's going to be like, the whole, looks, it's, it's going to be science and history all coming together. Uh, uh, now, don't get scared of the lightning because we need that, okay? So you just uh, go ahead. You just stand outside and uh, make sure. Uh, but, oh, keep that sorry. kite in the air. Just keep that kite in the air, John. Just keep that kite in the air. This, pull this pull way it back and let it go. Off. Uh, uh, and don't, actually, don't be afraid to run around a little bit. Just you know, just to like you know, keep it in the air, okay? Maybe just like small circles, small circles. There you go. Don't get pulled away. There you go. There you go. Now you see what you hear here, class. What we're experiencing is drag and lift. Okay, we have the wind creating lift that's keeping the kite in the air, and also, ooh, ooh, oh, that was a close one. That light looked really close. That's just far in the distance. But you no, know, we're gonna. We're gonna hey John, John, don't don't start running. Don't start running. I lost you. Okay? You. you okay? You okay, buddy? I'm back. I'm back. I'm okay. sorry. I okay. was running too fast. <laughs> Very good. Now, does everybody see what John's doing? He's keeping the kite in the air. So we get we keep the key high up in the air. Okay. So and that key is going to bring in electricity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, class. Oh, this is. This is great. This is, this is exactly what I thought happened. Did you see him? Did you see? Did you see the lightning come crashing down, hit the key, and then follow the current down the kite string? And John, are you okay? It got to John. John, you okay? You okay? Oh, no. So informative. See, class, what did you learn today? You die. Lightning you die. Can... I can breathe smoke now. No. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. Look, look at him. Look at him breathe. He's gone. He's fine. Just a little charred, but he's good. And we all learned a lesson today. You can still yeah. finish a lap if your car's on fire, brah. Exactly. Exactly. Back I was glad you took that away. Back to source. Yeah, I'm a very, I'm a very hands-on teacher. I like to use as many of uh, the tools I have around me to, you know, get through to the children. This seems like a lawsuit. This. No, no, I haven't been, I haven't been sued once. I I feel like everybody, the kids love it. They go up and tell their parents what happened. And the parents seem to, other parents seem to really enjoy it. This isn't, this isn't my first, third or fifth time. You're the Lincoln, prof- you're the Lincoln teacher. You're the guy who created Lincoln, the Lincoln, the end of Lincoln. Cut to yes. Lincoln, the Lincoln, 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 cut to Lincoln.
Hello, it is I, President Lincoln. I went on to be the president and then invent cars and sell them for mere pennies. Hi, I'm John Wilkes Booth. I, I have a gun. I don't like Mr. Lincoln, so I'm going to teach him a lesson. Joey. Joey. Yeah. You're lying. You guys said this was going to be like Squid Game. I mean, no, don't hurt my husband. Good job, Jay. Good job, man. All right. All right, for the Confederacy, but bang. Oh. Now, and thus, no. with a kiss, I die. I'm going to run and then die and be buried in Baltimore. <laughs> I'm aware the that end. That's the source. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. See, nobody actually got hurt. Feeder got hurt that day. Meep, meep. Oh. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Hi, oh, honey. You brought, oh, you brought Brian with you. Oh, oh, Brian, come on in here. Hi, honey. Yo, what's up? What's up, Teach? I'm here to pick up my parents. Oh. Oh, well, I think we are we are actually done here. Um, is there anything else, you, any questions you have for me? Um, if you want to go more in depth into uh, lift and drag, I feel like that would be really helpful to my future career. Oh, okay. Well, you know, a quick lesson, you know that the spoiler that you have on the back of your, your car yeah. is actually a perfect example of lift and drag. Before those spoilers are added, cars go flying off tra track courses and, you know, a lot of drivers would die or get horribly injured. But they added that spoiler on the back and they kept the wind down so cars didn't elevate and get lift into the air and go off course. That's really awesome. Listen up, Teach. Um, I'm going to be honest. That was more a rhetorical suggestion. Oh, <laughs> I'm Wasn't sorry. really expecting the lesson at this very moment because <laughs> we got to go. Guys, get in the back. All right. All right. All right buddy. Just get in, honey. We got to go. Okay. Getting in. See, this is what all I'm right. talking about. See, I feel like I can use this. Just, just all right. Look, we're, we're leaving. Bye. See you later, Teach. Beep, beep. Bye. <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Brum.